Hey guys, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Julia. I run a fashion style blog, Julia Marie V, where I focus on helping to teach and inspire you to maximize your wardrobe by making smart strategic purchases and restyling your pieces with items already in your closet. Today, we are going to cover my rule of five, which is a rule that I created to help myself maximize my wardrobe uh, when I had to start all over from scratch with a very limited budget and I had to make sure I was getting the most use as, out of all of my pieces and making the best shopping purchases that I, or purchases that I could make. Um, essentially, the rule of five, before you purchase a new item, you have to think of five ways to wear this item with items already in your closet. If you cannot think of five outfits to create featuring this new piece you would like to purchase with items already in your closet, you do not get to purchase it because that means it does not fit into your wardrobe, your lifestyle, X, Y, and Z, all that good stuff. There is a free ebook on my website, julianruby.com, where you can learn more about the rule of five, why I created the rule of five, and it even has like little worksheets to help you build a capsule wardrobe for yourself. <sighs> now that we got that out of the way, today we are gonna style old school platform vans five different ways. Uh, they're gonna be like, I, we're like in transition seasons. So none of them is gonna be straight summer and none's gonna be winter. It's gonna be kind of year round. If it's a colder climate, throw a coat over. If it's a warmer climate, maybe take off your sleeves or you know, get a top without sleeves. Anyway, so today we're gonna to style old school vans, old school platform vans, five different ways. Here's Nolo. Let's go ahead and get into it. For our first look, and this is the coldest of them all, like for cool weather, is this um, funnel neck sweatshirt, turtle, a funnel neck sweatshirt from Zara. It does have the um, ribbed waist to kind of like cinch it in a little bit. I did size down so I could have more of a crop slimmer fit. I believe I got this fall winter, I think like in October or November, 2019. Um, I do believe it's still available, maybe not in the black, but in other colors. And then we're just doing some slouchy jeans also from Zara. I had some other jeans planned, but I'm in the middle of doing a Zara haul and I didn't want to have to take this off and put it back on. So I was like, I'll just get these jeans and love it. But I actually really like these jeans with the top and then with the vans. Um, if you're, I got these during the winter sale at Zara. Um, these sp specific ones are sold out, but they have a ton of new slouchy jean style. So if you're into this style, if you wanted to try it out, it they refer to it as the slouchy jean. It has a super high rise. My belly button is like under the button here. Um, so it's very, very high. Yeah, there's my belly. Can you see it? There's my belly button. <laughs> Had to like look for it. Um, and they do sit a little higher. They're just kind of sliding down right now. Um, anyway, so this is our first look. Very casual and cute and chic. For our second look, one of my faves, we have a nude bodysuit. And then these are the rib cage Levi's. And then of course we have our old school Vans. I have not worn these yet. That's why the tags are still on. And they're actually, so the ribcage Levi's, okay, let me go back. So the top is from Zara. I think it's a staple item that they always have, $20. Highly, highly, highly recommend. I think I need all colors now. Um, I haven't worn this yet in real life. Let me wear this in real life and then I'll determine if I need all colors. Um, these ribcage Levi's I bought mm, like a few weeks ago. I just haven't worn them to be honest. They didn't fit when I first got them. Um, I've been on a fitness and health journey, so they didn't fit at all, which, which is why they have not been worn yet. But I love them so much. They do come, this specific pair comes with like a 33 inch inseam. I think I need like a 26 or a 27, but they also come with a raw hem. So the, the hem is actually raw and it's just a basic like straight away cut. So if you have just cutting shears, it's really easy to cut. I'm gonna cut them. I'm showing, I haven't done it yet because I feel like I don't wanna ruin them. So I wanna wait till like I have the time to just sit down, like, you know, just really think it through before I cut them because I love them. I see these jeans being probably an everyday jean for me. Uh, my belly button is probably down here. So it's a really great pair of jeans to wear with your crop tops and bodysuits over the summer. Um, I'm like selling the jeans and we're supposed to be talking about the sneakers. <laughs> That'd be really good with 
<laughs> the jeans will be really great with crop tops and bodysuits and like sandals in the summer. But this is about the sneakers here. So I think if we were wearing these sneakers, I would probably wear a white bodysuit with this. I have ordered this in white and then another white bodysuit. It just hasn't come in yet, which is why I'm showing it to you in the nude. Um, anyways, if you're in a cooler climate or it's a chilly day, just throw on an overcoat or like a, um, a lightweight jacket, maybe a denim jacket or a button down, like a flannel button down. I mean, it's not my style, but I think it's cute. And that if that's what you like, you should definitely do it. Or a, like a nice bomber jacket. And then of course in the summer, you can just rock it like this. Okay, for this look, this is what our third look, we're doing like a little casual chic. So we have a men's white button down, which is why it's so long, because it is men's and it's oversized, with um, Spanx leather leggings, and then our Vans to give you a full look. And then um, this ooh, quilted backpack, it's like a Chanel inspired quilted backpack. The men's um, shirt, I thrifted this, I think last summer for like $5. Um, Spanx leather leggings, they're classic. You can get these year round. I got them last summer as well during the um, Nordstrom anniversary sale. My sneakers I bought last year too. I mean, they're classics too though. So this is our third look. Oh, in my bag I just got off of Amazon. <laughs> Fourth look, we went with a sweatshirt dress. Uh, you know, I love, love, love a sweatshirt dress. This one is designer inspired, but it is H&M. I got it in the winter. I think it sold out in like one week. Like it went really, really fast. And then of course we paired it with our Vans. Truly you can wear any dress with sneakers as far as I'm concerned. Um, any sweatshirt dress would be really, really cute. Uh, a bodycon like knit or tank dress would be super cute if you did like a midi length or even just um, a knee length pencil skirt with a bodysuit or white oh like a white graphic tee but like tied up that would be so cute you could really really do a lot with sneakers and dresses uh, this is just one uh, probably 20 options i had to show you uh that's all very cash very cute feminine on the top Ready to get down to business on the bottom. The How to Style sneaker compilation would not be complete without a actual sweatsuit because I feel like that's what most people reach for when they are wearing their sneakers. They want something comfortable and a sweatsuit is definitely that. This is a classic um, jogger set from Champion. This is the slim jogger, high-waisted belly buttons under the waistband and then the crop top. They do have options if you don't want to do crop, if you want to do a full sweatshirt, you can do that. And they also have this top with a hood as, uh, uh, as well. I believe, I bought this last winter. Yeah, it's, I've had this a, a while. I wear it all the time. It's just, it's the perfect like errand outfit. Like if you don't really want to get dressed, but you still look really like put together and it shows your shape and your curves. I love it. Last look, casual with some sweats. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more, I'm here every week. So to make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. We will see you guys next time. Bye.